Tractor Power is at the 2017 Half Century uh, Progress Show in Rancho, Illinois. We're here with Caden Smith of Greentown, Indiana. And I'm really excited because Caden has brought out his Cockshut 1850 here to the show. And that's what I love about this show is you get to see rare things and we don't get to see a lot of Cockshuts here in the United States. It's, uh, it's an Oliver built tractor, but they were sold in Canada in Zumac Red. And Caden, what can you tell us about this tractor? Well, this is a 1966 Cockshut 1850 diesel. It's got the 354 Perkins uh, engine in it. This tractor here was built August 15th of 1966. And they built these in Charles City, Iowa at the uh, Oliver plant? That's correct. Okay. These tractors were going down the assembly line with red and green tractors, you know, mixed in between. But it's wearing its original coat of paint. Uh, I spent some time buffing that out a while yeah. back in the show. Yeah, I wanted to look at the logo up here on the grill. It's a uh, cockshot's theme was right on target, and it's uh, really nice to see that in there. And they've got the uh, these uh, fender fuel tanks up here. Or, yeah. They hold around 30 gallons a piece, I believe. Yeah, that was always a nice option that they offered. So uh, you're out here disking, yep. and what uh, what kind of disc are you running? This is a 14-foot uh, Oliver 262 full-type disc. It's uh, they, apparently they didn't build very many of these because this is the only one I've ever seen, and I'm on the internet all the time looking for them. And I believe my uncle bought this disc brand new wow. at the uh, Oliver dealer right down the road from the house. But we, uh, you still got the decals right on back here. And yep, it's all original paint. Well, except for the back beams here. But bought brand new at the dealer down the road from the yep. house. And you still see the Oliver logo on the cylinder there? Yep. But he uh, uses this until it got too small for his operation. And uh, we, you know, some bearings that was out of it. And, on the back here. We replaced those for the Half Century Progress show two years ago. Well, see it's even got the tow hitch here if you wanted to put a packer back there. But then this year we went ahead and replaced the front bearings on the front games. Got the 262 decal. This is something I've only ever seen in like the buyer's guides and that's uh that's what I mean I really appreciate you bringing this out to the show because I love bringing it. A lot of times you, know, you see all this stuff going by and you have no idea that this is such a rare disc in addition to seeing a cockshut working out in the field here. But they've they built around 3,500 of these cockshut tractors, 1850 diesel. Well, That's a lot of tractors. I never, I guess I did not know they how many of them they built. You don't see very many of them around here because they're all, they're all up in Canada. I guess like the Wheatland, you can see it's kind of a heavier duty arched axle versus a row prop, which would be a little more straight and narrow. Yeah, it's got the wider frame for the Wheatland also. Well, I appreciate the tour of this tractor, and um, yeah. so now you you're on YouTube too. You've got a yeah. channel. What, how can we find uh, what uh, videos you put up? My YouTube channel is KLS1724. Uh, I got a bunch of Oliver and videos. I think you said you got a, is an Oliver 5555 combine on there? Or? Um, yeah, I got a friend of mine, 5555. Uh, that's a super rare combine to see anymore today, so that's Him and his brother awesome. farm 150-ish acres. Uh, they've, they've owned the, this land since they were uh, five years old, and they, were, uh, they lived on it there since 1948, I believe. And uh, they farm that 
every year when they have all, all of her equipment, all of her tractors, all of her plows, discs, uh, the combine, um, field cultivators. The only thing all of them they don't have is uh, John, they got a John Deere six row planter. Well, that sounds like a great farm. I hope people will check out your channel. And what? Tell me what the channel is again one more time. It's uh, KLS1724. All right. Well, if you're an Oliver fan, I'd be checking it out. So, well, I'll let you get back to disking. And thanks for spending a little time with Big Tractor Power to share your Cockshot 1850. Yep. Thank you. Thanks a lot.